Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below, along with the notification bell. I think you may have to hit it twice, so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And I upload new videos every week. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you, and welcome back. Today on Creative Glam, I'm participating in a collaboration. This collaboration is called A Tribute to Your Mom. And is being hosted by Kimberly Davis of Diva Designing on a Dime. She has a wonderful channel here on YouTube. And I will leave a link below to her channel along with a playlist of all the participants in this collaboration. There's not a lot of requirements to this collaboration other than you give a tribute to your mom. So I took some items that I DIY and made a tribute to my mom. Let me show you what I did. Okay. My mom is no longer here on earth with me, but she is forever in my heart and on my mind 24 7 3 6 5. I love her very much. So I'm going to put together some things that touch my heart and make me think of her just a little bit more, if that's at all possible. My vignette, my tribute to my mom. This is a Mother's Day vase that I made. I made the mirrored vase in the Mother's Day plaques. I added rhinestones to it and a beautiful bouquet of flowers. And a Mother's Day card that I made for my mom. It said, Happy Mother's Day, Mom. And inside it says, um, Mom, may your day be as special as you are. Happy Mother's Day. You're awesome. Love always. And a candle that is of my signature scent. It is a scent that I love very much and I put it on a rhinestone pedestal that kind of balances off the rhinestones on the vase. I thought that turned out absolutely beautiful. This is a tribute to my much, and I include that along in her tribute. All these sparkly, glittery, beautiful spring colored items are items that either I bought personally for myself or I created. As I said, the Mother's Day vase and the Mother's Day card I made myself. The uh, ribbon I purchased I purchased that ribbon it went so perfectly with the theme that I had going here with my vignette with my tribute to my mom I couldn't resist it along with my candle and the pedestal that the candle sits on I thought that was absolutely beautiful I love it all these items will be on my Mother's Day tray for breakfast in bed I've already alerted I already alerted my family that I expect to see this on my breakfast tray. Well, at least some of it, because you got to leave room for the food. But again, I think about my mom all the time, and I think of the wisdom that she imparted in me, the life lessons that she taught me. She was a very smart and a very wise woman. Um, I didn't realize how wise and how ahead of her time she was until I got older. I Her wisdom was so intense, I had to grow into it. So she gave me pearls and she dropped knowledge to me and I heard her and I listened and I held on to it but it wasn't until I became a grown woman and a mother and a wife that I realized the wisdom she gave me I had to grow into. I love my mother very much and I miss her even more. So uh, on this day I have, I have now grown to be able to embrace having Mother's Day and enjoy it for myself and think of her. There was a time that Mother's Day was a very difficult time for me, but not so much anymore. I've grown up and I've, I've, my perspective has changed. Not so much what I've lost from her, but what she has left me with is how I look at it these days. So again, this is the tribute to my mom on Mother's Day. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my video. I sure enjoyed participating in this collaboration. After you finish watching my video, click the playlist in the description box and check out the other YouTubers that participated in this collaboration. I had lots of fun. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Tune in next week. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Love you, Mom.